Our KDKA TV family is celebrating a major milestone. It was on this day in 1949 that KDKA, at that time going by the call letters WDTV, won on air for the first time from Syria Mosque in Oakland, marking the start of local television here in Pittsburgh. We've come a long way since then, and while it's been an honor to serve this community, it couldn't have been done without the amazing people who helped put on the hours of newscasts and programming. And we are so lucky to have a few of those people joining us today. We have Harold Hayes, Mary Rob Jackson, Lynn Sawyer, Paul Martino, all with us to ring in a very momentous anniversary. <laughs> so good to see you all. How it's are you? Good great to be here. here. I know we can't tell all the stories. We can't <laughs> no, tell, we them tell them all <laughs> on TV anyway. <laughs> in the commercial that would not be a good idea. Baby. <laughs> But you know, it is such a, a big anniversary to celebrate 75 years, and I really want to hear from each of you about what it was like to be part of this, uh, this tradition, this legacy. Well, contrary to popular belief, we haven't been here for 75 years. <laughs> Not only. <laughs> I know, but you know, I realize we, we've probably been here for almost half of it. Yeah. yeah. That we worked for half of that. Okay. Most of us are here yeah. work for, you know, 35, 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Long so it's true. Got my watch, you know, my 25 years. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. But, but it all began in our household. Bill Burns was yes. on at noon. Right. And before The Young and the Restless, it was Search for Tomorrow or something. Yeah. Yep. And it was so long ago when I was in school and could come home for lunch and go back to school after lunch. My cue to leave was when Bill Burns said, and now to Marie Tory and her guests, because she had a, a, a guest show, on a yeah. talk show. With, sure. But I mean, that was, he was the beginning and end of news for so many uh, communities. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I would come home from St. Philomena's school and Squirrel Hill and have my, I had, uh, let's see, cream cheese and jelly with the <laughs> crust cut off uh, and watch Bill. And then when I first came here in uh, 1980, Bill was, he was here, he was still oh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And to me, that was, was crazy. I, I couldn't believe it. And, and I had met him when I was a very little girl and the Playhouse had a dinner theater and my parents were there and I was with them and I think I was maybe six. So my father said, he was in, Bill was in a phone booth in, in the playhouse and said, that's Bill Burns, go over and say hello to him. <laughs> you know, what do I know? He's the guy I have my cream cheese and jelly with. So I, I, so I walk over and he's having a very intense phone call and I, I like pull on his <laughs> bad leg. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still, you know, he's doing his phone call. He was he a newsman. Yeah, he girl. was in. No, he didn't. He he finally looked down and said, "Hello, little girl." And that, and that was it. Well, I that, anchored with him and on the news, right, and I right. was, oh my God, I thought this is crazy because I watched him the same way you did. And um, there was the young and the restless was after the new news. So one day he's giving his goodbye, and he says, "And now stay tuned." For the young and the breathless. <laughs> That's right. He did. I was a deer in the headlights. I thought, we all know that and he story, said, he I turned to me, he said, did I just that. say that? And I just looked down like this and and I thought, oh, good Lord. And I finally know. he's laughing and we go off the air. Well, about, <laughs> I don't know, uh, six months or a year later, he says, hey, did you get the check? I said, what are you talking about? Bloopers and blunders. <laughs> we got a check for that oh, just, because uh, we made bloopers and blunders. See, I don't think they do that anymore. With the invention of social media, they just <laughs> they take it and yeah. put it up. You, know, you guys talk about Bill Burns, but I was just a pup when I came into this newsroom, and I had the opportunity and pleasure to work with all of you, with the exception of you, Lynn. Um, but I mean, really, you guys took me under your wing. It wasn't just it, it wasn't just a new person coming in. It really started to feel like family for me too. Well, you know, we it worked is. when we first came into this business. It was. I mean, we all started in about the 70s, I guess. Uh, that's when I started mm -hmm. in, in uh, 75. Uh, and uh, it really was, uh, we learned from people who had worked with Edward R. Murrow and Edward Bliss and Fred Friendly. Mm -hmm. We worked, we learned from some of the, you know, people who worked with the pioneers in news. Right. So you learned right. You know, you really did from the way you held a microphone to how you uh, approach stories. Right. Yeah. Well, and Westinghouse Broadcasting had a tremendous reputation all over the country oh my for God. training their people. And I remember every time I'd go out of town, and you probably did too, somebody would say, can I buy your mic cube? <laughs> because <laughs> KDK was so KDK, popular and it was yeah. known all over the country. Well, you know, one of the things about Westinghouse growing up in the area, in the, watching in the 60s and 70s, to me, 
it looked like Westinghouse was very intentional, uh, intentional about diversity. By mm -hmm. the time I got here, Nancy Montoya was the first Hispanic woman reporter right. mm -hmm. in the market. Lee Arthur had been the oh, first right. woman right. to be a sports reporter in this market. And growing up as a black kid watching uh, Vic Miles and uh -huh. Yvonne Forston and Dennis Hawley, when right. I was in high school, Dennis Hawley was anchoring, and I'm looking and making the psychological connection. There's somebody who looks like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can do this. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's why. That's one of many reasons why diversity is important. Absolutely. I'm so glad you brought that up too, Harold. And Paul, you're the most recently retired here. Tell me about your time here. Retirement at is wonderful. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I still have a ways to go. Uh, you know, I was a very young guy in the 80s working in Mobile, Alabama. They had a very corrupt city government there, and I was chasing these guys Shut every day, and they were <laughs> literally trying to run me out of town. And then KDKA called in. I knew those call letters. I mean, mm -hmm. oh my God, yeah. I have a chance to work at KDKA. Yeah. And then I got here and met these wonderful people. We were kind of the core of the re right. reporting uh, crew back then. Yeah. Uh, and I said, you know, I'm only going to stay here about three years. Well, I fell in love with the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you stayed I much longer than that, didn't you? I raised a family, and thank you. <laughs> I appreciate everything that you all did for all of us here because you really paved the way for what we were able to do and what we continue to do here. Like but even with local programming. I mean, you know, KDK we just started was, this show. So. Yeah, KDK really was a part of Pittsburgh. We had Katie's Army, mm -hmm. okay. you know, when, when, when the and, steel and mills, the steel were, mills were, uh -huh. I mean, it was really part of the fabric of the community. And, and I think all of us felt, you know, we have friends who worked in different markets and everything. There was nothing like working at KDKA because people right. were so good. You know, they were so supportive and so nice, and they welcomed you. And that was, you know, we that will always be We didn't be know how good we had it. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> well, this thank true. you all, and thank you for coming in today. I don't, do we have to pay you for the, the time you spent here? Well, well, no, no, no. You're not paying us? Stratus. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. it. <laughs> That's all right. All right, we will be airing a one-hour special anniversary that recaps our history from big news events to the creation of shows like PTL and Talk Pittsburgh. We don't have an air date just yet, but we will let you know as soon as we do. And thank you for watching Katie Kie.